Good morning, everyone. Two stories I want to share with you today. One is the strikes against the seaport of Odessa. 19 people were killed, including two children. So this continues. And the world continues to look on. One of the things that President Zelensky said to the G7 is that Ukraine can't afford to wait decades or even years for EU membership. And with every single day this war continues, we get additional proof of that. And uh, Brittany Griner's trial is underway this may not seem like a big deal, you know, compared to all the other things, but I want to explain why this is important. And this is re important in several different ways. First of all, as with other non-Ukrainian citizens, Brittany Griner is now a hostage of the Russian state. You know, just like the POWs who were taken in battle, she is now a hostage and basically a, a leverage, somebody to be used against the United States as the war continues. And another important point here is actually a problem in the United States. How did she end up in Russia to begin with. You know, she is an Olympic gold medalist. She is a highly decorated women's basketball player. So how the heck did she end up in Russia? Why? Why was she there? Well, apparently in the United States, female athletes are so drastically underpaid, especially compared to the male athletes. They're so much less likely to get endorsements from the sponsors that they go looking for employment elsewhere. And that is how she ended up in Russia. And then she was charged with drug use. And this trial, <laughs> surprise, is not going so hot because at this point, it is very likely going to result in a conviction. So you're going to have a U.S. citizen rotting away in the Russian jail. Let that percolate for a second. And we're not even technically in the state of Cold War anymore. Well, surprise, surprise. Think about that. Thank you for watching.